Blade Floss Tube. I'm Annie and I am the proper stitcher and this is floss tube number seven. I can't believe I'm already to floss tube number seven and I and that you are still joining me on this ride. It has been so much fun to come to you all week after week and to share what we all enjoy which is cross stitch and quilting and just all things stitching related. So thank you for coming back. Thank you for subscribing and liking my video. If this is your first time um, joining me, welcome. I hope you stick around and come back um, You know, every week. Um, thank you all for your comments last week. I, I love reading your comments. I do. And I read every one of them. I either try to comment or give it a thumbs up. Um, a lot of you have emailed me with questions, and one thing that I did get from a handful of you, and I really appreciate, is apparently I was having a problem with my audio last week. So a lot of you had said that you were having a hard time hearing me, and I'm not sure if I was having trouble with my, my microphone or if I was being a little quieter because my husband was homesick and he was in the room across the street across the hall from my dining room. So I'm not sure which it was, but I appreciate you telling me because I, that's what I need. I need that feedback from you all and I really do appreciate it. So thank you for letting me know. Hopefully I fixed it this time. So uh, finger, fingers crossed, <laughs> we'll see. As you can see, I'm in my sewing room and I love it. I do, I love it. It is going to be a work in progress for a while. I'm not gonna do a big reveal. Um, for quite some time, if you could see what I see right now, it looks like a big old cross-stitch store just exploded on my floor. I've got linen, I have patterns, I have needle minders, I have floss everywhere. It is a big mess. So, but it is fun going through it all and organizing everything. So, but it is going to take me a while to get used to the new, the new setup. One thing I have noticed is that this room gets morning sun and I'm filming in the afternoon. So I think the lighting is okay, but morning is probably gonna be a better time for me as far as lighting goes. So we'll, we'll play with that for a few weeks and see, see what, what works best. Um, mornings are usually hectic at my house, but we'll try it and see. Um, I did make more notes this time. I hope you don't mind me looking down, but sometimes I just have to do that because I did forget to tell you a few things last week. It's sort of like when you go to the grocery store and if it doesn't make it on the grocery list, you don't get it, even though it was probably the number one reason why you went to the grocery store. Um, I did that last week. I forgot to mention a few things. So I tried to, to make better notes <laughs> this time. So hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. Um, but all of you who are still praying for my sister Lisa, I really appreciate it. She does read your comments. Um, she did get a new sewing machine. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned that last week and she did order some fabric. So we're, we're excited that when she gets that in, we can, maybe I can go down there and help her with that. My daughter and I are hoping to, to make a girl's trip down there uh, this summer and, and uh, help her out. Uh, today is, uh, she has chemo and radiation on Thursday. Excuse me, she's radiation every day, but chemo on Thursday. Today is her fifth of the sixth rounds of chemo. Um, she is getting more fatigued with each uh, treatment. So prayers that she has a good weekend and that um, we have some, some good um, results after her sixth round of, radiate, of chemo. So um, another update that I wanted to share with you all and that I forgot to mention last week is the, of an upcoming retreat that Stitch Etc. is hosting. So Stitch Etc. is uh, owned by Kim Gavlik, and she's a good friend of mine, and her daughter Ashley Day and her son-in-law Travis Day help her with wooden items. She's the one who I get the wooden paddles from and the boards from, and she has an Instagram page, Stitch, Stitch Comma Etc. She has a Facebook page, which is a private group, Stitch Comma Etc. And, um, she makes these wooden paddles. She also hosts retreats and she has one coming up. I wrote down the dates. Her upcoming retreat is September the 27th through the 30th. And that is hosted by uh, Stitch Etc. And her guest um, designer is going to be Stitching with the Housewives, which is Priscilla and Chelsea. So super excited about that retreat. You can go and look on her Facebook page and um, Instagram page, probably your Facebook page has more of the information on there. I think it's in the, the photos or the media 
um, section, or you can email them with any questions you have. But there are still some spots available. I'm looking forward to that retreat. I'm going to help her a lot with it, um, just because it takes several people to to hold um, to to entertain that many people. So I'm going to help her as much as I can. So I will definitely be there. And I've always enjoyed spending time with Priscilla and Chelsea. They are so much fun and so sweet to be around. And they will um, stitch a special design for the retreat and have some classes for you. So definitely something to check out if you can go that that week. I think it's a Monday through a Thursday. So go and check them out. It'll be a lot of fun. In this episode or this video, I will try not to make it be as long as it was last week. I didn't realize that I had talked for an hour and I apologize. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Um, I, I can't remember if I've mentioned this to you all before, but my husband always says, how can you talk so long by yourself <laughs> about cross stitch? And I just can, I just love it. And I, I just can't help it. So I'll try not to do that this time because I know, you know, sometimes it, it can just be a bit too much. So we'll, we'll see. But in this, in this episode, I do want to talk about my current stitch alongs that I have going on with stitch, etc., and with the vintage stitcher. Or I'm going to show you some whips and some hauls. I don't have any new finishes, but I did bring some previous finishes up to share with you and then our giveaways. Um, one thing I did not anticipate over the last week is the amount of time it was going to take to get just this far in my sewing room. On Friday, I the um, gentleman that we hired to put the bookshelves together, he came and put them together for us. And I did a um, time-lapse video, which was kind of cool. So if you want to see that, it's on my Facebook page and on my Instagram. But he was phenomenal. He came at 1 o'clock. He was done by 4.30. It did take him that long because it is a, a big piece to put together. But we could not have done it. So I did a time-lapse video. It's so funny because it took him four and a half hours. And the, the time-lapse video was 27 seconds. So... But And I forgot to start the video when he started, so it was a few minutes after he got started, probably 15 minutes after he got started. Um, but it, it, he was a lifesaver. There is no way that we could have put this together without hurting ourselves or each other. So, And it probably would still be on the floor if, if it wasn't for this, this man. So wonderful, wonderful job he did. But that took all day Friday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I spent those two days bringing my stash from my basement up to the upstairs. So going up and down the stairs, that's two flights of stairs, going up and down to get my items out of the basement, bring them up, start organizing. Um, it, it just took a lot longer than I expected. And every day since then, I have been working in the room trying to get it organized because I just want to start using my space. And I'm ready to start getting back to my quilting and I have so many ideas of things that I want to make and show you and hopefully be able to do some tutorials whether it's cross stitch finishing to um, quilting and by no means is any of it professional grade but it is just something that I think would be fun to try to incorporate into some of my videos and um, hopefully get my blog up and running soon and I'm documenting everything as I go to share that with you so I thank you for your patience. I'm curious to see how it's gonna work in this room today. I already feel a little disoriented because I've done six videos downstairs in my dining room and now I'm up in my sewing room. I, what I do think I'm gonna enjoy about it is the sound control. I noticed in several of my videos, you could hear my dog snoring. I have two puppies, two dogs. They're not puppies, they're puppies to me, but they're dogs. Uh, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels and I will share some photos of them soon, but Bella and Scout are their names, and Bella is so loud. She snores when she sleeps, and she sounds like a freight, freight train, and it doesn't matter what room in the house you're in, you can hear Bella snoring, and I noticed on a few of my videos that I could hear Bella snoring from the kitchen into the dining room, and so I'm laughing right now because this is the guest bedroom, which is above the kitchen, and she's usually sleeping in the kitchen, and I can hear her through the floor snoring. Um, I do want to get them a bed and put in here with me, so if I'm up here during the day, they can come and hang out with me. 
Um, and I do, eventually I'll have a sofa oh, that's a sleeper sofa, but that's gonna be further down the road. I feel like we've put a lot of time and effort and money into the room as it is. I don't wanna just, I need to space things out a little bit. Maybe for Christmas, by Christmas I'll have the sofa. So, but that's my update on my sewing room. I'm, I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to share it with you. So, let's get to cross stitch. So my current stitch alongs that we have been talking about and you all have started asking me questions about the Quaker Christmas uh, stitch along and I'll get to that one after I talk about the Clarissa Beaumont. So Clarissa Beaumont is a stitch along that I am doing with Stitch Etc and the design is by uh, Little Robin Designs and this is this is a PDF download so Little Robin Designs and this is Clarissa Beaumont, 1875. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sampler. It's small, it has these adorable animals on the bottom. It has a lot of colors, which is fun to, to see. Here they all are. And I put these on little bobbins. This is just DMC floss and I gotta tell you, this is the first time I've done this for an entire project, and I'm not sure I'll do it again. I'd love having the organization, but it took so long to put these on bobbins, I could have been stitching that whole time. But it is it is keeping them orderly. So I started Clarissa Beaumont, and this is, all of these stitch-alongs are super easy, super, um, work at your own pace, no rules, you do you, you do what's convenient for you. But this one um, started last Friday, um, officially. But you can start it anytime you want. And this is my start. And I have her name, I don't know if you can see that, uh, Clarissa Beaumont, age eight. And that, it might be too light for you to see. But I do have some photos on my um, Facebook page and Instagram page and this is such a sweet stitch and what's so funny about this and even Robin with little Robin designs mentioned that Clarissa Beaumont was kind of a stinker she um, made a lot of mistakes and a lot of color changes and we're going to find that along the way in this design and it's kind of fun she was kind of quirky that way but lots of colors and I love the green on the blue and the lime green and then the border has red and green and then darker reds and darker blues. It's just just a rainbow of colors on this one sampler. So that is a stitch along. And if you'd like to join us, it's Clarissa B S A L. That's the hashtag. So if you're on Instagram and want to see what everybody's stitching, Clarissa B S A L. And please join us. And this is the needle minder I've selected to use with this design. I have a, a big collection of needle minders and I'm going to show you some of those today, but this is an old button that has been made into a needle minder. So that is my needle minder for Clarissa B. Um, Clarissa Beaumont. <laughs> Clarissa Beaumont. Um, one thing about this table up here, tomorrow I am getting, um, I've already gotten the, the delivery notification for my big craft table and that's where I will set up for my videos and it's my work table and right now I'm on a narrow table so hopefully next week or the next time I, I film I'll have the big table set up and then it'll be more spaced out so we'll see so right now I'm working on a very narrow space and so I'm having to put things down so bear with me while I do that um, a lot of questions on the next stitch along and that one is for Quaker Christmas by um, Bygone Stitches. And I'm doing this one with Artie at the Vintage Stitcher. So go and check out the Vintage Stitcher. She has a floss tube and a Facebook page. And we, I, we start, we're starting this one on June the 1st. And there is a PDF download option for this one. A lot of people have mentioned that they are having a hard time finding it. So I will put in the link below, uh, another another um, viewer and friend of mine found a PDF downloadable um, pattern. So it's on, an Etsy, it's on an Etsy shop. So I will link that below. If you'd like to join us, this is a Quaker Christmas 
um, by bygone stitches. And some of you have asked if you could stitch Quaker Christmas 2, that you have that one or that you've already stitched this one and you'd like to do the second one. Of course, again, no rules, just we want people stitching together and that this is that's what makes this so much fun. Um, but this one starts June the 1st and the idea is we can do a section at a time and by the end of November have this done and framed in your house by Christmas time. Um, another thing I mentioned last week and, and hopefully this will make this a little bit more entertaining for everybody who doesn't want to stitch a big piece, but you can take these little motifs and you can make smalls or ornaments and make a, a, make a nice display with pieces of this design. So please let me know if you have any questions. You can email me anytime. You can comment below. Um, if you want to email me, it's the proper stitcher at Gmail, and I'll also put that in the bottom, in the show notes below. So, someone asked me what linen I was planning on using, and when I purchased this design in 2017, I bought this linen. This is 36 count cream Edinburgh, and that is what I had purchased at the time. And so I bought enough floss to stitch with this. And I thought about switching to 32 count light mocha. So this would be more of a flaxy mocha color versus the cream. So I'm not sure which I'll go with. Um, if you have a suggestion or an opinion, I'd leave leave that in the, in the comments below. Let me know what you think. But I'm either going to do the cream or the the mocha. The problem is, is if I switch to the mocha, which is 32 count, um, I may not have enough floss. So I bought the floss thinking one strand for 36 count. If I stitch it on 32 count, I'll need two strands. So that's my only dilemma uh, about switching. But I think I like this color better. I, I don't know. I have time to think about it. Again, we start on June 1st. So that is Quaker Christmas. And if you want to join us, again, um, show me what you, what you um, if you already started buying your materials and your, and your supplies, show me a photo on my Facebook page, um, The Proper Stitcher. It's a private group. Ask to join and um, you show me what you have. Um, and let me know what, what you think and what you're wanting to do. Some people are, are changing it up, completely making it their own. And I love that. So... Uh, let's let and the the hashtag for this one is going to be hashtag Quaker Christmas SAL. So that'll be fun to follow along once we get it started. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my whips. Um, I have quite a bit of whips, as we know, we've seen them before, and as my calendar is showing me, even though I've been busy in my my um, sewing room, my calendar, show, I also try to stitch a little bit and I try to keep up with my calendar. And so it lets me know about how long I've been stitching on some things. It's funny, last Wednesday, I put a sad face because I couldn't stitch that day. No stitching, I had too many appointments that day. That was the day I had a lot of work appointments, doctor's appointments, and I was just so exhausted by the time I got home. So it's funny to go back and see that. I don't remember doing that until I looked at it just now. But that is my book of days. Um, and that's fun. I, I have developed quite a fascination with stickers. And I love documenting what I'm doing every day. It helps me keep, keep track on uh, my stitching. It motivates me to keep, keep going along too. So my wits. And I'm just going to pull them all up. And again, I apologize for still bending over to get them, but my table is so small. Hopefully soon that will not be an issue. Um, all right, so on Instagram and Facebook, I showed y'all I started a new project last week, and I think I did share it with you in this video last week. And, um, but I started Plum Street Samplers Henpeck, and I love this one so much. This is so cute. Okay. So I'm using, this is a needle minder with my name on it. And I'm using that needle minder. But this is my progress. I have the two chickens and the little crow stitched and one little flag. 
and it's such a sweet design. I really am enjoying it. These are the colors. I still haven't gotten any floss drops you know, that I was talking about last week, but maybe one day. But these are the colors I'm using. Um, I changed barn door. It called for brick red and I didn't have it, so I switched it to barn door. And I think it's going to be fun. The more I think about this piece, I think I'm going to finish it into a pillow. And maybe that'll be one that I'll do like an overhead um, video and show you how to finish it. And I'm thinking I found some really pretty fabric. I think I might do some rickrack with it. Uh, that's my thought right now. Very rarely do I think that far ahead that I, oh, I know how I'm going to finish this. But I think I want to finish that into a little pillow. So that is Henpeck from Plum Street Samplers. My other one that is very slow going, but I do love it every time I pull it out, is Modern Folk Embroidery, Fruit of Plenty. And I've mentioned this before. Please go and check out his website, modernfolkembroidery.com. Jacob has, he's so talented with his patterns and designs, and he has a lot of smaller patterns too. But I did fill in some more of the bowl on this one. I filled in just a few more berries. Um, I'm excited to add the darker blue to this. And I am using the uh, this needle binder with this one. Just to, I thought since it's modern folk, I'll use a modern little um, design. So I'm using two DMC shades, 932, and 3750. So here they are on the, the linen. And I am using 32 count antique um, antique white Belfast linen on this one. And the white with that blue really stands out. I, I'm really excited about it and I hope to make more progress on it soon. Maybe I'll get January done before June gets here. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Uh, um, okay, and the another one, uh, another stitch along, it's an ongoing stitch along that I have. On Tuesdays, I like to stitch tomatoes. A lot of designers are using tomatoes in their designs, and I am stitching Summertide Blessing by Plum Street Sampler. And this is so sweet. I've actually made a lot of progress on this. I'm using 32 count Stormy Night Belfast Linen. Oh, here's my needle minder I'm using on it. A tomato but here's my progress and I've gotten the three tomatoes stitched started the flower got a little bit more on the flag done so I got a lot lot stitched on this one and it's really pretty I really do enjoy this linen a lot so I'm 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 excited about how this one's turning out I just just could not stitch as much this week between my children are at and their last week of school, they're doing finals. Today is actually their last day. My daughter had two finals today, my son has one, and it has just been every day a different schedule because they just show up for their final, and it's just been a crazy week. I've always equated the last week of school to Christmas because it's just not enough hours in the day, not enough time, different schedules. I feel like it's hectic. We're running around everywhere, and that's what this week has felt like to me. That on top of just everything else that we do in our everyday schedule. So not as much stitching this week as I wanted, but I did get I did get some in. All right, so this one, I can't remember if I showed you my new needle minder for this one last week. It may, it may have arrived on Friday or Thursday. But on Summer at Cherry Hill, we've had this conversation before, how this tree is really, really giving me fits. It is such, it's bigger than you, than it looks. Um, but I am almost done with it. I have at least filled in the outline of the tree and I have almost done with that tree. And I cannot wait to get this tree done so I can start doing all the fun stuff. It has bees, it has, um, birds and it has cherries and it has this cute 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 little little girl in there and the pomegranates i just cannot wait to stitch the rest of it but i found this needle minder cherry needle minder so that's with this design i'm stitching this on 32 count 
um, Vintage Country Mocha. And I just love this linen. I love how the marbling is on it and with that green and the red. So this is, this is making some good progress. I thought I would have that tree filled in last night, but at about 10 o'clock, I just said, I've had it. I've got to go to bed. I was so tired yesterday. Okay, and my other whips have not had as much attention. And I, sorry, I just kicked my camera. Um, they haven't had it, but I wanted to share it with you anyway because I didn't show it to you last week. And uh, some of you may be new, and I thought that I would bring them back out. And who knows, maybe it will um, remind me to put them at the top of my stack instead of at the bottom of my stack. So I am stitching in um, Home for the Holidays. Uh, Blackbird Designs. I am stitching Tis the Season. And this is so pretty. And I am going to stitch it in French. Um, not the, there in the, in the book, there is an English version and the French version. And I'm going to stitch it in the French version. Um, and I am using the Bella Soi Classic Colorwork Silks um, on this one. And I am using 32 count Valor, Belfast Valor, which is a green. And here's my needle minder for this one. I found this with the with the um, cardinals on it. But here's my progress on this. And it's a big piece. And, and I love the shape of it. I love the rectangular shape. Um, I haven't stitched anything uh, this size and, and I don't think ever. So it's going to be a lot of fun to have in my house on Christmas. But here are the colors, and they're a mess. They, I'm not going to lie, they're a hot mess. Um, but they're so pretty on that linen. So I really, really am enjoying this one. If I just could have more hours in the day and more energy, I would probably have it done. I think we all probably say that. <laughs> okay, so on... My next one, it is from Hello by Liz Matthews, and I really do like this one. This is called Butterfly Cloche, and I forgot to mention this before. In this pattern, she has these smalls that you can stitch and find these antique glass paperweights, and you take out the back and stitch this and, and fix it into it and glue it with a piece of felt behind it, and you've got a, a beautiful little small to put on your desk or to give as a gift to someone. But here is my pro, this is a big one. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I decided to switch to the MPI silks on this. But this is 36 count. Did I get the 36 count fog? This is fog by Picture This Plus. Yes, I did. I got 36 count fog. And I'm doing one over two on this. And I do like how it's coming along. Um, a lot of colors, a lot of color changes, um, but it's going to be worth it. It is so pretty. And I decided on this one, I, I don't know why I'm showing you all my needle minders. I just, I guess I thought it would be fun. This one, I'm my needle miner says, stitching mends the soul. And that is so true. Stitching Desmond, the soul. I think that's why I buy a lot of patterns, knowing I'm probably not going to stitch them, but one day I might, and it just makes me happy. It just does. Now I feel like I'm going too fast. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the right speed. I'm either talking too fast or I'm taking forever to show you everything. So let me just take a sip of my tea. Okay. My other one I did not work on at all this week. I made good progress on it last week. This is From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy, and this is Freedom Quaker. And I am going to find a frame like this. Hobby Lobby has a lot of frames that are painted, and I'm probably either going to do probably blue because I think the red might be hard to match. And here's my needle minder for it. This is a Brenda Gervais. That's the um, Stars and Stripes. And then I did stitch that first motif with the tree. This one I am using a just a piece of linen I had in my stash. It's Dixie Sampler 36 count rolling stone. 
and it's a good color. It is, it truly is a stone color. It's kind of a grayish color. Oh, I dropped this one. Okay, so my last whip is another Plum Street sampler, and it's A Friend Loveth at All Time. And there it is on its side. And I do need to, I, I was out of a couple of colors, and I wanted to wait until I got them in, and I was waiting on Garden Gate, and I found it in my stash when I was bringing um, a lot of my things upstairs. I found some things that were missing. It was almost like Christmas. I was finding things I forgot I had, and some linen, and some floss, and patterns, things that I just forgot about. But, oh, here's my needle minder. And then here's my progress. But on this one, I found Garden Gate, which is for this one in the middle. No, actually, it's for her hair, and it's for the bottom of this dress. So it was really kind of a big piece that I wanted to find, uh, or a, a big, you know, color that I didn't want to substitute, so I'm glad I found it um, and didn't have to wait until I got it in the mail. So that's all my whips. Um, well, that's all my whips I'm currently working on. I, I have other whips, but those are the ones I'm working on. Um, now my haul. I didn't get a lot of haul this week. I think it's because I had, over the last few weeks I've had quite a bit of things arrive, um, but I do have a few things to show. Let me let me show you my previous finishes and then we'll do haul. Um, this is Bushel and a Peck, and this is a Pineberry Lane stitch. And this is sewn into a little pillow. I did not do this finish. This was before I started finishing. And finally finished did this for me. Um, and this is a sweet little stitch. I love Pineberry Lane. But this is Bushel and a Peck by Pineberry Lane. And when I stitched this, at the time I stitched it, it was in the Punch Needle Magazine, the Primitive and Punch Needle Magazine. But it is now in a pattern form. Super cute. And I love that little basket. Bushel and a Peck. And I believe this is a Blackbird design um, fabric that I, I sent in to back with it. And then another one is um, Bluebird Out My Window. And this is by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And I love this one. This is really pretty. And it has the rick rack going around it. So those are two previous finishes. So hopefully I'll have some of... I have some finishes that I wanted to do and share with you, but I didn't want to rush finishing them. They are stitched. I just need to finish them. And with everything going on with my rooms being upside down, I did not want to rush finishing anything and just, um, you know, just show you something that, that I just rushed to finish just to have. So I've, I've pulled out some previous finishes. Um, okay, so now back into my haul. <laughs> I did find some little vintage pin cushions. This little girl, and she's a little flower, and she is so cute. Her hair, it looks like it's yarn or something, but it's just, it's not. It's part of the ceramic finish, and it has a little, I think it's a snail. It is, it's a snail. She reminded me of Holly Hobby. I thought she was super cute. And then another one, similar to this one that I found, I showed you last week. This little girl, and she's wearing a blue dress. Sorry, there's a glare. Um, and she, her little top, it's, it's really old and crusty, but she's super cute. So those are two little pin cushions that I found this week. Um, I did get an order in from Stitch Etc. This is um, three wooden paddles that I got from her. This one's black, and these two are blue, navy blue. So I think I'm gonna do some patriotic finishes on these two. And I'm not sure about this one. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but those are good sizes. So I got those. Um, I did get a new needle minder. This one says needlework, and it's a little needle workshop. So cute. I don't know why I have an obsession with needle minders. I guess it's like accessories. I don't know. And then I got Stay Home and Stitch Project Quarantine by Brenda Gervais. 
and I just have always liked this piece. I don't know why I didn't order it last year when it came out. So with the Tomato Tuesday, I thought that um, I would get that and stitch it for Tomato Tuesday. So I love that one. Okay, and then for um, quilting fabric, I got, I don't wanna take it all out, but I got this Bonnie and Camille kit. It is to do their Stars and Stripes flag quilt. So that's what all of this is for. It didn't, it didn't come with the pattern. Um, and I need to find, it just arrived, it arrived today. So I'm gonna find out if um, I'm supposed to, if the, uh, I guess I get a PDF download fabric uh, pattern for it. So I'll look into that. But that's my haul for this week. Um, okay, let me see. One thing I wanted to go over with you, I did get a question and it came via email. And someone asked me, how did you learn to finish your product uh, projects? And you know, that made me start thinking before I answered her question. And I really wanted to go over this with y'all. I like, like a lot of things I, like I've talked about with you. I taught myself to finish um, and everybody does, it's, you know, but I didn't teach myself to finish. I it like all on my own. I didn't come up with the ideas, but I was by myself doing the finishing. But I watched a lot of floss tube. I watched Vana with the Twisted Stitcher. I found her first, and this was years and years ago. And I binged watched all of her videos, and I watched them again and again and again. And I just love her tutorials. You can go, and I'll link it below. You can go on her floss tube channel. You can go on her website. Um, she has amazing videos and amazing tutorials. Anything you want to learn to make, if it's a pillow, if it's finishing on a folded mount, if it's finishing on a flat mount, if it's twisting cord, um, DMC making your own cord ribbon, uh, she has a lot of tutorials. And so I just watched and watched hers. Um, and then I also um, went to some retreats and um, they had some classes there and I learned to finish just through trial and error. One thing I will tell you, and this is why I'm telling you this long story to get to this. Um, one thing I noticed is when I stopped trying to be perfect, and I said this so many times before, but when I stopped trying to make it perfect, and when I stopped trying to make it as good as someone else's, when I got that out of my mind, it went a lot better. I mean, yes, I, I practice on um, scrap pieces of material or um, burn my fingers so many times. I practice on things that, that were just throwaway, you know, scraps. But when I stopped trying to make it perfect is when I noticed it came easier and I didn't stress about it and I was happier with it that way. And then the more and more you do it, the easier it gets, the happier you are with it. But you know, I've said it so many times, I would rather have it finished and not be perfect than to not have it finished at all. Um, so just, that's my biggest advice. Watch the YouTube videos and um, just don't don't stress about it. So there's a bug on a win my window and I don't know if it's inside or outside. So if I scream and run, it's because it's inside. Um, I don't know what it is. It, it looks like it flies. So anyway, so I hope that makes sense. And um, I will link Vana's um, episodes below. I will also link some of the Stitching with the Housewives episodes below. Um, she has a couple of the tutorials, but that's my biggest, biggest advice is just, just be you, have fun with it. Don't worry about it being perfect. Um, oh, and another thing, a lot of y'all commented on the little, um, it flew away, so I guess it was outside. Um, the the little tins that I had last week from my antique haul, you said that they, a, cu a couple of you have emailed me and said that they were little play sets for your dolls. And I'm like, that makes so much sense. Why did I think they were real baking tins? I mean, something that big could not go in the oven. And um, so that was so much fun to find out. It never dawned on me that those were toys. So that's exciting. Thank you for letting me know. Um, okay, so 
let me go into, I think that's pretty much everything. So I'm gonna go into um, our giveaway winners from last week. So let me get that. Um, I keep seeing it, it keeps coming back. And I'm sorry, I'm not usually afraid of bugs, but I just thought, what if that startled me? Okay, so our winners from last week. Um, I know I had a sheet of paper with that, here we go. Okay. So we had six giveaways from last week, and um, one, the first one is a PDF download pattern from Little Robin Designs. So Robin was kind enough to say that one of our winners could, one of my winners could go to her website, select a PDF pattern, and she will send you the, um, the PDF of that pattern. So number one, who wins the Little Robin Designs PDF pattern is Christy Martin. And Christy uh, is spelled with an I at the end and Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N. And all of the winners today, email me your address and if you would tell me what you won and I will get these out in the mail to you or in Christy's case, I'll get the email out to you. Okay, number two is the Lizzie Kate kit. And this goes to Bonnie Rogers. So Bonnie Rogers. And then number three is the Chessie and Me pattern. And this is uh, goes to Amy Swihart. And Amy, your last name is spelled S-W-I-H-A-R-T. So Amy Swihart. Okay, so the last, the fourth one is the Scarlet House Find Comfort. And this goes to Linda Van Ostel. And uh, Linda's last name is spelled Van, B-A-N-A-U-S-D-E-L-L. -L, Linda Van Hostel. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Linda, no, I was wrong. Linda won this one, so sorry. This one goes to Kelly Perry. Kelly, you won Find Comfort. Linda Van Hossel won this one. She won the Pocket Full of Posies. Oh, Button Posies. Button Posies by Scarlet House. So Linda, Button Posies. All right, the very last one is the Stitch Etc. White Paddle Board. A finishing board and this is from Stitch Etc. Thank you, Kim. Um, Karen Young. Karen, you won the, the Stitch Etc. board. All right, ladies, just email me your contact information, your, your mail, your address, and I'll get those in the mail to you. Now, for next week's giveaway, we have, I think, five items today. So, this, this week, I want you to answer, and I know I've asked this before, but I think that it's one that I'm going to revisit often because we will from time to time have several new subscribers and uh, new cross stitchers so, and quilters. So um, I want you to answer where do you like to spend your stitchy money? I have a good friend of mine named Jamie and she called me today and said, where do you get your cross stitch um, supplies? Where, where, Because she's wanting to learn how to cross stitch and I was like, I've known you for 20 Four years, I'm so glad that you're wanting to learn how to cross stitch. It made me so excited. So I went through all of the places I go and what I do, and we're gonna, you know, schedule some time for her to um, for us to, to go into more detail with that. But I think it's important for us to know and to support our local shops. Um, if it's an online shop, that's fine too. Just let us know where you like to spend your cross stitch money. I know we like to go to a lot of different places and a lot of different online shops, but I like to go to just cross stitch and crafts in Johnson City. Um, I call them a lot. They mail me what I need. Uh, if they don't have it, then I start looking online. I also call the Finishing Touch in Louisville, Kentucky. And sometimes a friend of mine who owns stitches and things in Michigan, she will um, mail me items that I need or I will order from her. So answer below so like the video subscribe to my channel answer below and um so here's what you can give away and the number 
which one you are interested in because I'd, I'd like for you to receive a gift that you actually want. So just tell, just list the number. Please don't mention giveaway. Just do number one, number two, number three. So the first item is one of these boxes. And it's really not a box, but in one of my previous videos, I showed you a box like this that I did a finish on top. And this actually has the linen with it. And this is from um, Patty Nicolosi. And when I was going through with her company is My Hand Needleworks. And when I was going through my stash and bringing boxes and things upstairs, I had two of these, uh, different colors, but I had two of these. And I thought I would share one of these with you. So this little box, and you stitch on the linen and then you finish it on the back and you just place it inside. But that's a sweet little box for you. So number one. Number two is a Blackbird Design pumpkin pin key. Patchwork pumpkin. Whew. So Blackbird Design patchwork pumpkin. So number two. Number three is Scattered Seed Samplers, a token of spring. And you can stitch this into, make this into a drum or, um, you know, a framed piece. Number three is the Scarlet House, Bringing Home the Tree Kit. And these came, these, these patterns came from a viewer. She sent them in a few weeks ago and did not want me to mention her name, but that's where these patterns are coming from. So this kit has um, backing material, linen, floss. It looks like the wool and the bell for the, the trim. Bringing home the tree. That's actually really pretty. I love that. And then the last one, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So this is number five, hands-on design, a year celebrations. So you get 12 little patterns in this. So that's number five. So that is all I have for today. I'm sure I forgot some things, um, but that's okay. That's okay. That's why I do this every week. Um, so just thank you again for coming back to my channel. Um, I'm really enjoying this and I'm enjoying getting to know a lot of the floss tubers and then all of the viewers who reach out to me. Your, your comments and kind words just really mean a lot to me. So thank you. Um, please keep them coming. So don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I am the pro proper stitcher and on uh, Facebook. I am the proper stitcher as well. Oh, and I do have two floss tubers that I found this week. One is brand new. He reached out to me. Um, he is new to floss tube. Very first video was the other night, but he said that I was one of his inspirations. Um, and that was really flattering, but I will link his, um, his channel below, but his name is, um, Chris, Chris, oh, how do I spell it? Chris Cross Stitch. So Chris X R O S S Stitch. And then the other one that I found this week, and I know she's not new, but she's new to me, is Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. And she's just so funny, and she, I love how she cracks herself up. So... Those are two floss tubers that I found this week and um, wanted to share with you. So thanks again for watching and um, have a great weekend. And just remember that a finished project is better than a perfect project. So please, please remember that. And just have fun stitching and enjoy, enjoy what you do. Make it fun.